Is this the bug trap you should have? What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a little LED light bug trap, and I wanted to check this out because I've actually used the Zevo light traps in the past, and they have worked pretty well. But I was looking for something that might be cheaper, smaller in size, and more effective than the Zevo traps, and I think I may have found it. So you can order multiples of these, and I actually did, but I want to go ahead and unbox this, and then we'll plug it in, I'll show you the features, and then we'll see if it actually catches any bugs. All right, so here is the trap itself. First thing I will say is that it's kind of inexpensive, especially for these LED light traps. This one is not that expensive. And as you can see here, by the size of the box, obviously it's not that huge. So I wanna show you what you get in here because there are a lot of reasons why these traps are expensive. And the big one is the refills. So what I love about this is that, unlike some of the other big brands, this one looks like it comes with a few refills. So you get these little sticky pads, one, two, Two, three, four, five traps here. These are sticky pads that basically are glue traps for insects. So I love the fact that you get five because a lot of them will just give you one sticky pad to get started and then they will sell you replacements like a two pack for 20 bucks. So that's where they really get you. It's very expensive. So I wanna show you these and then we'll need the trap itself. And this is the light emitter essentially. And you can see the LED lights in there, right down there. And what's interesting about this is it has a few different colors, but again, not that big it's kind of like half a cell phone it actually kind of reminds me of a charging brick or charging pad so i also want to show you that on the back here we have this little foam pad so if you plug this into your wall outlet you shouldn't have to worry about it marring anything this prong right here flips out so you can plug that right in it's actually very light so it doesn't really matter if it's going to be sideways or vertical i don't think you're gonna have to worry about that and the way you load this up is you are going to peel off oh so satisfying the little cover here and this is sticky, so you can see, very sticky glue trap. And the little grid side is going to go on the inside. And then there is a flat edge and then a rounded edge. And the flat edge is going to go into the trap, just like this. And then you're gonna slide it down. And it looks like there is a little notch right there that is gonna grab this little foam trap and hold it in. So it kind of has a little extra resistance right there so it's not going to fall out or anything okay but it's pretty easy to pull out and on the back here then you kind of have this nice white blade now it's about the size of a iphone pro max so a little longer there but not that wide and what i like about this over the zevo particularly is it's much smaller it's just a smaller footprint it's thinner this way for sure because the zevo kind of bows out like that but i want to say it's even longer and wider so it's not gonna take up as much space. I think it's actually gonna look a lot sleeker. It kinda looks like an air freshener or a Wi-Fi router or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you how it works. All right, so I'm out here in my garage and lots of bugs come in here. This is where the bugs come in when I've got the garage door open and sometimes they fly around in here and sometimes they make a little home and they live rent free and it's really annoying because sometimes they raid my refrigerator. Oh, you know, so what are you gonna do about it? Well, I got a little something for you, buggies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this here and we will see if we can start catching bugs. But what I wanna show you, and it might not be that easy to see, but on this side of the trap, we have a little touch sensitive pad where the fingerprint is right there. So if I go ahead and tap that, what happens is the light comes on and now we've got this LED blue light. It's actually pretty sterile and kind of nice looking. You know, and this is kind of reminiscent of the Zevo trap. So it just has this bright blue light, which actually might be a little obnoxious if you want it to be a little bit more subtle. But what's really nice is I can go down here and press the little button and now I get this orange light. I won't call it a warm white light because it's much more orange than yellow. So warm light, I kind of consider yellow, but this is like orange, but I think it's going to be easier on the eyes. It's going to be much more night light ish. So if you just need a little bit of light so that when you're stumbling out of bed, going to the bathroom, hunting for a snack, something like that, I think this is going to be much more perfect. Now, if I touch it one more time here, what you can see there is the light is flashing and what it's doing here is it's going to a dusk till dawn feature. So now there is a little light sensor down there. And so when it doesn't detect any light, it will go on, but if it does detect light, it should go off. So what I love about this is if 
the light is on, it's not on to duplicating the light, just kind of wasting energy. But if you move the light away, what will happen is that will come on. So it's really nice. So when it's fully dark, just like this, now I have only a single light attracting the bugs in my garage here. So should do uh, hopefully an adequate job of attracting those bugs. They come into the nice warm light and then they get stuck on that glue trap. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this trap on for the evening and then we will see if we catch any bugs overnight with it. So I'll be back. All right, the weather is cooling off around here. We're getting into fall, so I don't have as many bugs as I normally would in the summer or spring months, but I thought we would pull this out and just take a look and see if we caught anything at all. Ooh, looky there. We do have a lot of little bugs, little gnat-like things, so that is nice because they're not coming into my house, they're not getting into my car or dying other places in my garage and cluttering up stuff and making a mess. So that's pretty nice. That's an overnight and you can see, looks like a spider even got stuck in there. Probably seeing the light, thinking this was a great place to attract bugs and he was right until he got caught himself. So if you wanna pick this up, nice, small, cell phone sized bug light, works like a LED night light as well. So it can be useful for a number of reasons, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there and turn it on and let it do its thing because I love lights and I hate bugs. And it's pretty inexpensive. And you get a lot of sticky pad refills with this when you buy it. So I will put a link to this guy in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.